Are we there? I don't know why my video is not working. I have it on, which is really weird. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, cool. You just can't see me for some reason. See if I can figure it out. Stop video, start video. Hmm. That is unusual. Well, hopefully it will at least let you see the screen when I share it, then that will be a problem if not. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're going, oh, we got people still joining us. I know it was last minute, I apologize. They always are last minute situations where we need to go Zoom. Thank you for joining online. I'm sure it was such a hardship. I say that with a smile, you can't see me. It's all good. From what I understand, you guys do like it when it is Zoom. Saves me 40 minutes of driving. Yeah, saves driving, does save a lot of time. I, I don't mind Zoom at all. <laughs> I didn't think you did. <laughs> well, we may be doing Zoom for just a little while. I don't know how long. Okay, let us do our attendance and get to the right class. <clears throat> okay, so when I do call your name, unmute and let me know that you're here, okay? Danielle? Here. Thank you. Eric? Here. Okay. Kirsten? Here. Okay. Miranda? I'm here. Okay. Grayson? Here. Chelsea? Here. Oh, okay. I thought I heard you. Okay. Jason? Here. Okay. Madeline? Here. Ryan? Good evening, y'all. <laughs> Good evening. Oops. Macy. Okay. Kren. Here. Jessica. She messaged you. She said her Did mic's she not message? working. Okay, thank you. Elizabeth Morales. Anna Moran? Here. Okay. Elizabeth is here. Who's here? Elizabeth. I see her name. I just don't know if her mic is working. Okay. Perfect. Thanks for letting me know. Yes. Yeah. Anjanette? Here. Okay. I thought I saw your name. No, Morgan? can you hear me? Yeah. Is Morgan here? Here. Okay. Thank you. Olivia? And Maisie. Okay, looks like we got almost everybody here today. That's great. Let's see. Zoom meeting. My mic is not working. Okay, okay. Cool. So, as I promised you on Monday, this is just review. Uh, you have a quiz that is due tonight at midnight. So this is just review for that, um, help for pointers, and then we'll be done early, which then you don't have to drive home for because hopefully you're already home. Yes. 
I did add a couple extra credit questions. So if you've been to lecture on Monday or today, you should be able to do quite fine. I, I put three on there. Okay, the torso muscles. So when we're looking at the abdominal muscles, there are four major abdominal muscles that you need to know. And the first is your rectus abdominis. Does anybody remember what the word rectus means? Rectus refers to straight. The muscle fibers are straight up and down, as you can see in the illustration. So the rectus abdominis is the muscle fibers are running superior to inferior, straight up and down, or sagittally. And then there are three layers of muscles on the sides, on the lateral sides of the abdomen. The deepest layer is the transverse abdominis. And you can tell that it's the transverse abdominis because the muscle fibers are running in the transverse plane. That's where they're getting their name. Then there are two other layers, your internal and external oblique. And oblique act stands for the fact that, oblique means angle, that the muscle fibers are running at an angle. So you have your internal oblique, which is sandwiched in between your external oblique and your transverse abdominis. And then you have your external oblique, which is cut and reflected in this picture here. And those muscle fibers also run at an angle, but at an opposite angle. So your internal oblique muscle fibers run in this direction. Your external oblique muscles run in this direction. I have a question. Yeah. So with the rectus, it means straight. Is it only straight up and down or can it be straight side to side? Or would that mean transverse? That would be transverse. Okay, so rectus is only like up and down. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes. So, and then, so if we're looking at the abdominal muscles on, on the lateral sides, then we also have our transverse abdominus which runs in a transverse plane. So you have three layers of muscles that run in three different directions, which allows to have a lot of movement and twisting motion in your abdominal cavity. Okay, do you need to remember origin, insertion, and action for the rectus abdominis? The rectus abdominis is kind of interesting because it inserts to the ribs three, five, six, and seven. So it's, it inserts quite high superiorly up into the thoracic region, essentially. Origin is the immovable attachment site. And so that's the pubis region. And then action, remember action is the flexing of the vertebral column. So if you, it's like you're doing a, a crunch or a sit up, your vertebral column is flexing like that. Okay, this is just a different view. Looking at the abdominal muscles, you can see your rectus abdominis running straight up and down. You have, in this picture, it's a little hard to see the other muscles you can see your external oblique, because it's the most superficial, those muscle fibers. You can see in this picture, that's pretty well that the rectus abdominis inserts pretty high up, so between ribs five and seven, so up into the thoracic cavity, up into the thoracic region, up into right below where the pectoralis major begins. So remember, we are pectoralis. 
So that goes over the diaphragm then, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, my hint is I do not use this picture. I do use this one. Okay. Um, I do use this one as well. Because this one shows the three muscle layers, each with a big view of them. So you can see them all separately. You can see your transverse abdominis. You can see your rectus abdominis. Internal oblique with the fibers running up. External oblique with the fibers running down. So this is a good picture for the abdominal muscles. So this picture is used in the quiz. Has anybody already done the quiz? Listen to you and waited. Okay. <laughs> I took it already. You took it I already? Uh -huh. I was in here Monday. Oh, okay. Okay. I took yeah, Monday Yeah, we missed too. a few of you on Monday. We missed you. Well, hopefully you were able to get the extra credit. Maybe except for the surfing question. There is the surfer question on there. So does anybody want to tell people who weren't there on Monday what muscle is really well developed in surfers? Your lats. The latissimus dorsi. Yep, the lats. Good. Okay. This picture is just illustrating the layers of muscle fibers, um, showing you that on the lateral walls, you have three layers, your internal oblique, your external oblique, and your transverse abdominis. And the medial region is really only covered by the rectus abdominis. <clears throat> okay. And I do believe I use this picture. And so the two muscle groups that you would want to know for this picture is the deltoid, which remember kind of just wraps over the shoulder, and then your pectoralis major. So I tried to use stars for everything. No arrows in this. I did not ask you to identify the latissimus dorsi, which is why I asked the surfer question. So be prepared if you haven't taken it yet. Okay, this picture is good because it shows you both the pectoralis major, major is bigger, and the pectoralis minor, which is smaller and is also more deep. It's deep to the pectoralis major. So in every case that we have a muscle with the term major in this chapter is always the larger muscle group. So major means bigger. Okay, here is the latissimus dorsi separated out. And if you remember on Monday, this was incorrect. I did not want you to use that information on the right because it was funky. The information on the left about the origin is correct, but there's more information on the upcoming slide. What is of note is that it originates from T5 all the way down to the end of the lumbar vertebra and attaches on the humerus your movable point, your insertion. Okay. Do you want us to know the like the T7 and L5? Or do you just want us to know what it says on this slide? I think if you know what it says on this slide, you should be okay. And another hint for you is, I forgot to do origin and insertion and action for the quiz. So you won't need to know that for the quiz, but you will need to know it for the exam. 
Thank okay. You. I use this picture. What muscle are we looking at? What muscle is this, guys? Internal. So the, miss, oh, the one that's starred? Yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, the one, well, I'm, okay. Let me star the correct spot. That's the trapezius. Okay, what did I star? What was down here? Latissimus dorsi. Yes, I could have used that to do I latissimus dorsi, but I didn't. But this picture is used, so know that. So trapezius is an upper back muscle. It is a superficial back muscle. Your deltoid wraps around your shoulder. So your shoulder muscle. And so origin, insertion, and action are important to know, especially for the exam. So I would study that. Uh, flashcards are probably really helpful when it comes to remembering origin, insertion, and action. So something that can be helpful for you for studying. Okay, action. So if you flex your deltoid, your arm is going to abduct and move away from the midline of the body. Latissimus dorsi, there we go, star the correct muscle. Latissimus dorsi is a lower back muscle, extends from the mid thoracic region all the way down through the lumbar region and inserts onto the humerus. And when you flex the latissimus dorsi, that causes adduction of the arm. So bringing it back towards the body. So essentially the deltoid and the latissimus dorsi have opposite actions. Okay. This picture I do use for the quiz because there are several muscles that you can identify in this picture. So in this picture, you have the trapezius removed. That's why you can see the rhomboid and the supraspinatus. So here's our second group that has the word major in it. Rhomboid major is the big, thick muscle here, and it's a rhomboid shape, go figure. The rhomboid minor is above, but it is smaller. The supraspinatus right here fits into the supraspinous fossa. And actually, we can identify this muscle as well. Does anybody want to tell me what that muscle is? It's infraspinatus. Yes, that's right. Oops. Infraspinatus. Yes. So you have your supraspinatus above the spine and your infraspinatus below the spine. And then you have your deltoid in your shoulder. So this is a great picture for multiple muscles. This is just illustrating a little bit more about the rhomboid major and minor, showing you the connection from the thoracic vertebra to the medial border of the, scap of the scapula. And above you have your supraspinatus. Below you have your infraspinatus. And even more, anybody wanna take a guess at what this muscle is here? Is it the pectoralis minor? No, that's going to be on the other side. We're looking Terry's, at the posterior view. Terry Major? Yes, Terrace Major. Is that Terrace Major or Minor? Terrace 
Terra's major, because the Terra's minor is up here, up higher. Okay. Yeah, Terra's major is right on the axillary border, and That's it's right. larger. That's right. Yes. Good question. All right. The erector spinae muscles. So this picture I do not use, but I use this one. Okay, so there's going to be some studying that you're going to need to do from that picture. Um, know your origin insertion and action for your exam for the erector spinae. You don't need to know it tonight. Okay. <clears throat> so, if we remember, we had three sets of muscles, right? Whoops, back up, there we go. We had the iliocostalis. We had the longissimus. And then we have the spinalis. So the most lateral group, furthest away from the midline of the body or the midline of the spine is your iliocostalis. So your iliocostalis is lateral. Your longissimus is in the middle between iliocostalis and the spinalis. So we are just going to say longissimus is in the middle. It's kind of sandwiched between the two. And then spinalis is most medial. Okay, so hopefully that will help you kind of get your group right. And then based on location, whether you're in the lumbar region, the thoracic region, or the cervical region, or that cervicus region, you should be able to identify your muscle. So you have lumbar, thoracic, cervicus, and then up high is capitis. So hopefully that is helpful for you. If you remember your order of these muscles, which one's lateral, which one's middle, which one's most medial, you should be able to figure out what muscle you're looking at. There are multiple questions on this picture. Are there any questions about this one? No, I think a classmate just texted me. Oh, she was able to get in, okay. Um, is there not an iliocostalis for the capitis for, uh, section of the back? Iliocostalis, there's a cervicis. Nope. So the highest iliocostalis is here, and that's the cervicis, so there's not a capitis. Yeah, so you'll notice that some of them, like the longissimus, there isn't a longissimus lumborum. It it's really starts with longissimus thoracis, and then longissimus capitis, longissimus cervicis. So they don't always have muscles in every single region. Okay. All right, so this picture here, we're able to see some important muscles. Our trapezius. Our nice big trapezius muscle. There's our lat. 
and you have you cannot see your supraspinous or supraspinatus in this one because it's covered up but you can see your infraspinatus and your teres major whoops sorry teres major <laughs> This whole, I wish I could erase. I don't know how to erase. Anybody know how to do that? Oh, I just figured it out. Sweet. So this whole muscle that you see here is your infraspinatus. Your teres major is along the axillary border of the, of the scapula. And then this little snippet that you see of is your tear is minor. This picture here is good because it shows you clearer where the tear is major is and where the tear is minor is. So the tear is major is truly along that axillary border, whereas the tear is minor kind of comes out in from between the infraspinous, infraspinatus, and the teres major, and attaches up closer to the head of the humerus. So that's why in this picture, we were only able to see a little bit of the teres minor, because it was mostly covered by the deltoid. Where in this picture, the deltoid is removed, so you can see it. I do use this picture because it's the only usable picture that's really okay to use for the subscapularis. So you guys better get the subscapularis, okay? You just have to imagine you're looking behind everything in the thoracic cavity and you're looking at the anterior surface of that scapula the subscapularis fits into the subscapular fossa. So here, if we just looked at, we took the humerus and the scapula and nothing else, you can see with the posterior view, you have your supraspinatus above the spine. So supra means above, infraspinatus below the spine, there's our teres major. Oh no, I'm sorry. There's our teres minor. Our teres major would be right here, but it's not shown in this picture. That threw me off last time in class too. When we look at the anterior view, this is what's against your rib cage. You have that whole surface is covered by the subscapularis. I do not use this picture for your quiz. And oh my goodness, we're done already. Are there any questions or comments about this chapter or quiz that you would like to bring up? I'm checking my chat too. Did we get Jessica checked in? I just saw your note, Jessica. Let me make sure you're checked in. Yes, you're checked in. I wonder why my camera is not working. I apologize for that. All right, guys. Any questions or anything related to the quiz? Um, oh, let's see. What can interrupt lectures, Zoom lectures sometimes? Dogs. Dogs. Yes. Okay, good. Good. I think you guys are you guys are going to be set. I think you're going to do really well. Um, I have a question in Top Hat. Yes. Um, so it looks like so.
So I know that 7.1 and 7.2 is due today, but when I scrolled up to 4.6, it said it was due today as well. I was just making sure that was correct. The head and neck region. Let's see. I'm checking right now. Oh, it does say it ends today. What is it? It's over the spinal cord. Well, haven't we already done that? I thought so. So that's why I was like, let me just double check. As far as I know, we've already done that. But if you want to redo your homework or check it, I guess you have a little extra time. Okay. I'll let it close at the end of today and then I will update grades. I believe we have already done the spinal cord, so I just must have made a mistake about the due date. So that is my bad. Okay. Are you able to see the reading on top hat? Like the, the reading and yeah. ahead of the quiz questions? Yep. Yes. Yes? Yep. Okay. Okay, good. Because I think in our physiology class, we were having some trouble. So I just wanted to make sure that we are, we are set. Okay. Any other questions about top hat? Okay. Then let me go back to the right zoom. Then I think we're good. Thank you guys for joining. Make sure you check your email and because I don't know if we're going to be doing Zoom next week or not. So please just stay tuned and ch um, to check that, you know, before you leave for class just to be sure. But I found out kind of late in the day about today, so I should know a lot sooner going into next week, whether or not we'll be Zooming or not, okay? Sounds good. All right, I hope you all have a fantastic evening. Kick booty on your quiz. Sorry, my my thing just like kind of like glitched off. So, what, so everything on top hat is like due today, what it says is due today, correct? Yes. Okay, perfect, thank you. You're welcome, of course. Okay, guys, have a good evening and I will see you either in person or online next week. Have a good weekend. You Thanks. too, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.